Okay, so we're going to go through the simple steps now just to get the portrait on the page because there's a number of different steps we have to go through because you're going to be working with layers. Unfortunately, as I'm doing this at home, I'm unable to show you it on, um, on Windows-based Photoshop, but as you know, it's essentially the same. So we're going to go through a few steps now and I'm going to do that as part two of the video, okay? So we're going to do a new file and we're going to go for an A4 and it's going to have a white background. This is going to be the main sheet that you work on. So we're going to do A4, white background, make sure it is white there, so pick white, make sure it's 300 pixels per inch so it's the best size we can have, so it's A4, okay, and create. There's your A4 sheet of paper. Now, what we want to do is get our portrait. So before we do anything else, we're going to name this sheet. Okay, so we're gonna do file, save as. And you should already have a Jova folder. If not, you need to set one up. And we're going to name it Jova Experiment 1. We're going to change it if the format's different we're going to change it to jpeg jpeg and then save okay so make sure you've got a jova folder and there you go so we know that this page is what we're actually creating our jova experiment on our digital collage on now what you're going to do is open up the portrait that you're going to use file open and as you can see, I have a whole folder here with all of the images I've downloaded, including my portrait and my paper backgrounds. So I'm now going to open up my stock image. As you remember, Jovi uses black and white. So we're going to convert this to, image, to black and white. Image, adjustments, black and white. And I'm just going to stick with the basic black and white. Now. This is where it's going to get a little confusing. So we're going to do file, save as, Jova, black and white. So you know what images you've got. Okay, so as you can see, we now have Jova experiment one, Jova black and white. So we know this is our stock image, our portrait. We're now going to do a transparent file and that will make sense why later. So file, new. We're going to go for A4 again, and here we're going to click on the white. No, we're not. We're going to click here on white and pick transparent. No, I did that wrong. Transparent. Okay. Again, RGB color 8 bit, 300 pixels per inch. We're going to create that. You should have a file that looks like this lots of dots. That means the background is transparent and it's a PNG file. Okay, so we're going to have file, save as, Jova, transparent. We're going to save it on our computer under Jova. We probably want to save that as a PSD because that'll be easier to edit. Save. Okay. Now what we want to do is turn this into just the image of his head. We don't want the white background, we want a transparent white background. So we're going to click on the move tool, we're going to drag this picture onto the transparent background. And we're going to stretch it up so it fits. So window T, I think it's control T for you guys. So move it so it fits the A4 as much as you want it to fill the frame, okay? and then press enter to get rid of the handles. Move it around a little bit so you're happy. Now we're going to hit the magic wand because we've got a completely white background. If you don't have a completely white background on yours, you can't use the magic wand. You'll have to use the magnetic lasso or you can use the select tool. I'm going to show you two ways, which is the magic wand. So click on the magic wand. I'm going to click on tolerance five. Then I'm going to click, sorry, I'm going to click on that layer, 
going to click on my magic wand I'll take off my caps lock so that you can actually see it so if you click there you can see now that it has the marching ants around him yes we have got a bit of a white background there that's why it's probably better to the, to use the magnetic lasso tool but we're doing this simply at the moment what we want to do is get rid of that white background so we click delete or backspace and now you can see that we have the transparent background and to get rid of the marching ants it's control d okay or it might be on your keyboard window d we've now got the layer here of the head now it makes sense why i've done this and not moved it straight onto the experiment because as you know from Jova's work so let's have a look back at his work he separates out parts of the face doesn't he and you need to be able to do that on Photoshop so what we're going to do I'm going to draw a rectangle so select the rectangular marquee tool and we're going to take off that top of his head there so we're just going to do a square there taking off the top of his head click on the move tool we're going to drag that onto our experiment here yeah so we're going to drag that there now we want the bottom part so we're going to do command d or window d or control d for you and we're going to select the bottom part like so doesn't matter if you've repeated sections and we're going to move that there so we've selected out the top now I want to do something with the eyes so I'm going to go back here command D and I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool right click on it highlight the eye with the elliptical marquee click on move drag it and drop it over here and to make it bigger, I'm going to do Edit, Transform, Scale. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to move it into a place I'm happy with. Now, it makes sense now why I've done this as different layers, because I've now decided I want to move that top layer over. So I'm going to move that there. I'm going to move that there, like so. Now, I might also, command D, I'm going to also, this is where it starts being fun because you start playing around. I'm going to do the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select that section again and I'm going to see what that looks like if I move that onto my image here. Like so. Yeah, I quite like that. And I'm going to do edit, transform, scale and make that larger there okay so as you can see now we have lots of different layers and you want to keep all those layers because you want to be able to put the shapes in the background okay so you want to be able to create the sorry you want those different layers so you can start putting the shapes in the background now I've decided if I want to move things around I can move them around I can adjust them so I might want to move that there I might want to move that over there it just depends on what I'm happy with you know I'm gonna move that there I think yeah okay so I'm going to move that so it's like this I may change it later on all right so what we want to do now is file you've already named it so file save so we save all of those layers it should be a psd file so there should be no problem with saving all our layers so now that's part two of how to experiment in the style of jova 